So let's explore that idea for a minute. The d- the dividing line between a, like a bad game and a good game with some like, just crippling aspects. Because it's my understanding, Skyrail Chase the Tornado. This sounds fun. The Sonic 3D games do not get a lot of love from people because they are bad games. Is that a pretty uncontroversial statement? Is that something we can all kind of get behind? Am I going to have to concentrate on this part? I'm not... I haven't pushed anything yet. Okay, now I'm pushing something. Wait, what? What did that do? I see. Kind of. But that's... So that's my question. Is... Were they really, like, actual bad games? Like, were they just poorly designed in every respect? Or... Could they have been decent games, but they they just had, like, problems, you know? The way Sonic Adventure 2 does. Huh. There you go. Maybe that answers my question. I'll just, we'll just try it again. Oh my goodness. I guess another way of looking at that was, okay, let's let's take a ba- an example of a bad game, and then could this game be redeemed and made into a good game by changing one aspect of it? Uh, for example, Sonic 06, having watched a lot of videos of people suffer through that, I am willing to say that that game is probably not redeemable, because there are aspects of it that look fun, but... What go, what's wrong with that game goes way beyond just, like, a poor camera or anything like that. Like, that game has really deep, awful problems. Oh, there, and that time I hit it. I wonder how come I didn't hit it last time. Huh. Let me try to think of a, of a example of a game that... Oh, he's shooting at me. How come... Get up there. Can I... Oh, I couldn't get him. Damn it. And I'm falling in the abyss again. That's okay. Flying mountains with no bottoms are fun. Um, how come he didn't clip onto that rail? There we go. Works for me, man. We'll, ju- we'll just do that then. That's okay. Oh, I see. Oh, no, no, Shadow! Oh, damn it! You kind of have to bounce it upwards, and every time you hit it, it bounces it again. If I go on this other one, I get rings, I think. Rings. Rings. Oh, there are rings on both of them, actually. Why are you going so slow, Shadow? What are you... Well, you're never going to get it that way. Oh god, I can't even see where they're shooting me from. Fair enough. At least Shadow's, like, super grinding level is, like, midway through the game, so it's probably not going to be as infuriating as Sonic's was, who was at the very, very end. See, I'm trying to think of an example of a game that I know in my heart of hearts is not a great game, but could be a great game if, like, one or two things was changed about it. I can only think of examples of games that I don't like that have that quality. <laughs> well, like Kingdom Hearts. I think I mentioned that earlier in the video. How... Oh, I got it. Oh my god, no. I, I was not confident that was going to end well for me. So I... St- I probably didn't need, if I had just had had faith in the game, I probably would have landed right on the rail and it looked real slick. But I just do not have faith in this game. This game does not engender that much faith in me. I hate it when the rail breaks apart like that because, I don't know, man. Get some rings. Because I lost all my rings. They're not rings anymore, they're rings. If Kingdom Hearts had just... Okay, if it was the exact same game, but it had that camera fixed and workable, 
I probably I, I would have liked the game a lot more. I probably still no. Come on, stop jumping into him. He's gonna keep bouncing me back off. Where does this go? Is this where I have to go? No, there's grinding over there. But ah, free guy. I'll take it. And then I will get on the rail. Yeah. If Kingdom Hearts was the exact same game, but with a with a better camera, I would enjoy it. As it is, I don't. That was it. That's the whole level. It's done already. Oh, very well. Here we go. I don't want to really go into detail about why I didn't like Kingdom Hearts. We'll just boil it down to the bad camera. It causes all the other problems. I do have other problems with it, but that's the big one. It would have been playable and enjoyable if not for that. Maybe I didn't try hard enough. Mario Galaxy. That's another good example. Okay, if Mario Galaxy was the exact same game, except the spin jump was a button on my controller instead of a waggle, I would enjoy it 20 times more. Doctor, they're heading directly toward us. What should we do? So I'm going to classify Sonic Adventure 2 in that stratum of games. Not good, not bad, but a good game crippled by one aspect. In this case, the bad camera. I've been talking about the bad camera and various tangents thereof in Sonic Adventure 2 for like 45 minutes now. It's been forever, this entire recording session. That was pretty rough. We did it! Let's go, Amy! Yeah! You little thieves! Did you really think I remember complaining earlier about Amy's panty shot, but when you think about it, none of the other characters even wear pants. So, how weird is that, that that bothers me? At least Robotnik wears pants. I'm not sure about the lyrical music in the background while characters are trying to talk. So do I have to fight this guy as Shadow now? Because this boss was no problem. Why are they showing me this... From Sonic's point of view, I've already seen it from Sonic's point of view. So he, now he just kills him in a cutscene. He doesn't have. This is the cutscene version of how that boss died. Not Sonic runs around in circles, looking like an idiot for a while, and then gets stuck in the sand repeatedly. Or do I have to fight him as Robotnik? That would be fun. That's right, Stone Golem goes in for the high five. Robotnik doesn't dig it, he can't hang. I do have to fight as Robotnik. Okay, so again, they're using the same boss, but... with a different character. Do I kill him in the same way? Like, are his platform's gonna come out of the back of his head? Oh no, I'm just I just gotta shoot at him. So let's get behind him and shoot at him. I'm also is all those bouncies up top there? No, those are not bouncies. Those are the ropes down at the bottom if I get stuck. Oh damn, he can't save himself from the sand the way Sonic can. So first we'll do this. Come on. I have to actually hold forward. Oh no. I guess I'll fire at his nipples first. Can I get him? Can I get him from over here? No! Don't fall, Robotnik! Okay, I can save myself if I hold the jump button and... Ow! Whoa! Dang! Dang! Darn! Let's get some rings. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, I can shoot the rings! Why did I try to go collect them like an idiot? I got guns, man! I don't even need to collect rings because I've got a life bar. Oh man, that's not fair. Oh, I can't jump over his hand. Do I just gotta outrun him then? I can't really tell where he's gonna punch at. He doesn't seem to be aiming for me very well. Okay, now I can hit his nipples. Look, I don't like it when little robot men shoot my nipples, either. Like, I really hate that. 
Oh god, no! Let's... Okay, so let's go down here now. No, I want to just go down there and get some rings. And dead again. Wow, okay. I wanted to drop down there and shoot some rings. I don't know how to dodge those attacks very well, because... Sometimes the fists just kind of look like they come out of nowhere. I just gotta, I'm gonna shoot him from behind is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go all the way behind him, like I did with Sonic. But I've gotta get him, his nipples are in the front, so once I do enough damage to the back of him... Use the homing missiles on there. Whoa, no god no, don't, 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 just no. Good stuff. Oh man, I thought he was going to go right there. Okay, get behind him again. Robotic shoots to the side unless you actually hold forward, but if you hold forward, he kind of walks along the inside edge of the platform, which is just really disorienting. Oh, my shots aren't damaging him anymore. Oh, I've opened up the last nipple. Sir, your nipples are forfeits! And that's it. Alright. Again, I kind of like how they're using the same boss from two different gameplay styles. And I'm kind of becoming endeared to Robotnik's Happy Dance. Uh, I think I'm going to cut this session short. I didn't realize how freaking hungry I was. So we'll watch this cutscene. And guys, I make you my solemn promise that I will not give you another camera thesis again in this Let's Play. I just feel like I spent way too much time just incoherently ranting about it in that one Rouge level that I wanted to go ahead and clarify my thoughts on it and kind of explore a little bit why I felt that way. So hopefully I did not alienate too many of my viewers because I'll be honest, I wouldn't have watched that. I'm just, I'm like, man, this guy here, unsubscribe. So next up is another, I hope is another, if it's another timed Rouge level, I don't know. <laughs> Coming to terms with my feelings about this game did not actually, does not actually equate to me wanting to play another Rouge level. Like, I would not be okay with that. Yes, it's a very common name. Many women throughout the world have that name. Everybody's heard that name in multiple places. The voice acting in this game is directly on par with what I remember from voice acting in that era of gaming. Like, bang on! That's why I loved Nintendo back in the days, because they did not try to put voice acting in their games. They knew it, they didn't need, the, need it in there, and they didn't even try. <laughs> 